שלום, לא רק את יהלה, בעל שם יהלה שי, בעל שם בקר קדש, all places and glories definitely do, especially in the times we're living in. Much respect to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, and to all the brothers out there doing the work, I say shalom. All right, uh, I'm going to read this, and uh, then we're going to go to a video. And then, of course, we're going to get into the scriptures. And my title for this lesson will be Wicked Men Mocking the Most High and His Son. Or, you know, I might say uh, Mocking Yahweh Ba'ashim, which means coming in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. All right. So, um, you people understand, uh, you know, uh, even based off this. So I want to read this first before we go to the video. And then after we'll watch about four minutes of a video that a brother put up uh, from uh, GMS uh, Vegas. And uh, then we're going to hit the scriptures after that. So uh, I'm going to start here. Bible verses about mocking the Most High. I honestly feel sorry for everyone who chooses to mock the most high power, all right, or his son, all right, or his chosen, all right, okay, and again, not everybody is Israel, you understand? Basically, when you understand these scriptures, you understand that not all are Israel, Okay, and not everybody is of the elect. Okay, is of the chosen seed. You understand? And everything is about the elect. All right. Always remember there are like two camps. You have the camp of Saul, and you have the house of David. And it is the house of David that the Lord is coming back for. All right? Not the camp or the house of Saul. You understand? There's a difference, people. And you would know that if you know the scriptures. All right. So I honestly, honestly feel sorry for everyone who chooses to mock the Most High because there will be severe penalties for that person. All right? And... We're going to, like I says, you know, after we watch the video, we're going to hit the scriptures, all right? So you people can get the, uh, the thrust of that point, all right? For, there will be severe penalties for that person, and the Most High will make that person eat those words. That's right. Because, again, you, everyone is going to be held accountable, all right? All over the web, right, all over the internet, you see people writing blasphemous things about Yahweh Shai. When the time comes, they're going to wish they had a time machine. And that's not a joke. That's not a joke, people. That's not a joke. Okay, and this is not a game. All right? And this work is not for everybody, all right? It's not for everyone. You know, many want to think of it as, you know, means to, uh, you know, uh, you know, profit off this truth, all right? Listen, I'm not into any of that, all right? This is about the work, period, okay? And in doing so, that hopefully... I'm of the hopeful elect, and that I get beamed up into, you know, the ships, all right, and I get a new body, and have that everlasting salvation, and to him that endureth or overcometh until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And that's what this stuff is all about, all right? And you certainly don't get there through falsehood, all right? This is not about you know, creating your own doctrines. This is not about going against 
the word of the Lord. If you're doing that, then you're not doing the Lord's work. And you're against him. All right? Unless you're trying to give someone a reason to believe in Yahweh Shai, unless you stay away from scoffers. And that's what you're going to see on the video. These, this group of men, I don't know who they are. And you know what? I don't want to know who they are. They're nothing but a bunch of scoffers. Nothing but a bunch of reprobates. All right? Because they're, they're scoffing, you know, at the most high, his son. All right? And the miracles and acts that he performed. Okay? All right? And you know that our Lord was, was ridiculed and mocked by the Pharisees, by the scribes, by the seducers. You understand that? All right? And I'm not saying all of them, okay? But those same spirits that were back then are here today, all right? And you know what? It seems like every week or every few days, there's another, you know, group of men, you know, claiming to be Israel, all right? And just because they looked apart doesn't mean that they're Israel. Because, again, what's coming out of their mouth? They're scoffing. They're scoffing at the Word. They're scoffing at the Most High, His Son. They're scoffing at His men, the prophets that He has set up. All right? Okay? We're talking about the elders. All right? So, unless you want to be led astray, People are not opening their eyes to the Most High's amazing power right in front of them. And the Lord is doing wondrous work. And you ain't seen nothing yet. All right? Because many of y'all are blinded. All right? Blinded because Esau has blinded you with his deceptions and lies, his sorceries, his enchantments. All right? And as time goes on, you will see more and more scoffers. And that's true. All right? Because we're in the end. All right? You know, uh, people shall wax worse and worse. All right? Ridiculing is not the only way of mocking the Most High. You can also mock him by twisting, rejecting, and not obeying his word. See that? All right. All right. Let's uh, let's go to the video. All right. Let's do that. Give me a minute. All right. We're going to play about the first four minutes of it. All right. So let's get to it. You heard him. You see the hatred of these brothers. In these schools, no word. He's trying to tell that, like talking about, he doesn't mention any camps by name, but he's basically talking about like GMS. Well, first of all, it's not just GMS and many other camps. And you know what? According to the scriptures, you are supposed to reprove and rebuke and correct someone who's going off. Okay? You're supposed to do that. It is actually an act of love to try and get someone to repent. All right? Let's continue. So right there, he's mocking Yahweh Shai 
and the miracles that he did, all right? And I'm not sure if it's covered in the first four minutes, but, you know, if you guys watch this on your own, they also mock the Lord, you know, about him walking on water, all right? Let's continue. me all right talking about horses and the chariots all right see that i said we're gonna do greater miracles than he so mm -hmm. i just want to see which of us gonna be the first one to try to walk on water <laughs> 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 right. see did you hear him he said he wants to see which one of these israelite leaders are going to be the first ones to walk on water you see and they're sitting back laughing. Yet, the Lord is laughing at them and will have them in derision. And that's from uh, Psalms, the second chapter. All right? Just to quote Yahweh Shai, uh, evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. But will only be left the sign of Jonas. I want to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, Kakwadash, Dev to the elder apostles of the Green Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the Lord for we lay tabernacle of David, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And, um, you know, a lot of these men in these uh, leadership positions in Israel, you know, it's a reason why the Lord is allowing them to spew out their, their rhetoric, their madness. It's because their words are revealing their character, their true character. You know, like it tells you going back to Luke, the second chapter, that a sword will pierce even their souls also, that the thoughts of the intents of the heart may be revealed. A lot of these dudes are wearing their hearts on their sleeves and they're just uttering out any and everything before the Lord. As if the Lord isn't sitting back and listening to the very same madness that they're spewing out. All right. All right. We're going to end it here and we're going to come right back. All right. With uh, part two. All right. And uh, we're going to get into the scriptures. All right. So I'm going to say uh, Shalom. We'll be right back with part two. Wicked men mocking the most high. Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai and uh, the miracles that he performed. Shalom. <laughs> 